What is up everyone, boys and girls, I'm back again with my current um, 20, my 2023 CGC collection. Um, okay. um, I prior to doing the year, I wasn't expecting to do as much CGC stuff as I have. Um, but I did, um, I say as much, um, there's people who have picked up way more than I have who ha and who have way more than I have, so, but, yeah. Um, so, well, the first book I got this year was, <clears throat> this book still kind of sort of upsets me that I never got signed at this next track back in August. Um, but I'm glad I got it graded because it was after like after sending it out but before the same track trying to find another copy it was a pain in the shit place and that was um for Star Trek Strange Worlds the I was trying to say the Eroine Enigma issue four this is retailing in the edition A um which is special on the cover this was meant to have been well I said it just bush the yeah is just bush the Carries um, Nurse Chapel. This should have been signed by her. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately, um, yeah, it was sent. It, it was unfortunately sent out prior to go. Um, yeah. So these next twos are a bunch of books I am working on getting raided. Um, and there's my Love Sick series, so this one is the Very Tower G, or Love Sick number one, which I think is a fantastic, sorry, a fantastic cover. Um, yeah, um, I think I like the story. I still, I still think people, more people should, should have read Lopsick or should read Lopsick. Um, you pick up the trade paperback, so. And also I've done the variant of C for issue 2, which. I really like. I've so many copies. I've got, I've got a couple sent out. We've got two or three sent out, I think, currently. In total, as it sounds right now, I've got 31 copies of the object to send out. Obviously, not in one hit, but obviously over time. So, um, this next book is a book. I saw the normal version of this cover. So, it was it was on my radar, but it wasn't a book I was going to go for. Until I picked my, my first bunch of drained stuff, um, James at New York Comic pretty much went, I've got this, I'm interested. Looked at it and went, but don't I will regret it? This is the Prison Boy Audition or the Diamond UK exclusive version of World Tree Number no. 1, which the blood splat on this. Um, Blood splat on this is is foil. That's what makes it a foil cover. Is yes, I bought I bought people one or two foil covers. Um, not too many, but it's, I'm not the biggest lover of foil overall. Um, of the current sensational shell run. I think issue one was a foil, and I saw it in person as you be awake. Well, what did I say? Tuesday, yesterday I saw it. I said like the person who was working knows how much of a shell fan I am. So I'm interested in it. I said if it wasn't a foil, yes, the foil ruins it for me. It's if the cover is cut, yeah, cut was nice, but it's then because it's a foil. <laughs> this next one is this next one actually I think like the first grinding book I've picked up. 
um, from me done. <clears throat> you gave me a fantastic deal on it. And this is the it's a ultimate Spider Man number two seventy. So that's the the legacy number. It is NYCC twenty twenty one and Eastside Comics exclusive. It's an amazing Spider Man three hundred cover homage of Miles Morales Spider Man number thirty. Um, I think I paid at ninety pounds at the time. And I've seen it, I've, <clears throat> it's very, I think it's limited to less than a thousand, I've been guaranteed less than 800, but it's, um, ooh, well, you wait one, um, <laughs> James at the time showed me how, like, actual soul distance, and it was going for like easy two, three times more than what I paid at the time. I don't know what it's going for now because that was a few months ago. But even then it's like if it's still the same lot of price, I think I thought I could still. Next two books doing the same series, yeah. I did have three books in this series, but someone bought actually I sold one. Um my rule is with my with my CGC stuff. Anything I personally send out to it graded, I won't sell. If I buy it graded, and the minimum money back, I will. So if you want to go, so I there's a shop in Leon C called Character Comics. He bought it for me because he wanted it for display. Because it's this is an indie book, and he specialises in indie stuff. Ooh. But it was, lucky enough for me, it was a cover that it was a nice cover. Nice version cover, but it was it had a Newton ring. And if you don't know what a Newton ring is, on grade books in the slab, they put the comic in like a bag, like a plastic, I think like a plastic type bag to help keep it in place, something like that. And depending on the cover, if it's like a um, cardstock cover, if it touches the bag, it looks like it looks like it's an old can look like an old stick. Um, it won't damage the book, but it, it's very <sighs> so well, like, annoying. You looked at it, and it was like my OCD was playing up, so I was sort of it was irritating me. And I think the book I sold was the book you wanted, the book that had it. So, uh, but the two I've got left are this is issue 19, this is a version cover by Danny Lockhart. Or someone is hitting the children. Um, I, I, what I does what to, uh, what them, what these are do, because it wasn't a it wasn't a key. But, <coughs> the way <coughs> things are down with cotton books, anything can be, um, turned into a TV show, I don't know, or option to be a TV show. And even if a even if the, if a, it does auction like don't like auction the product show, even if don't eventually turn into a show, that initial sp uh, interaction spike books. So another one I've got. I think the first, I think the first one I picked up in the, the series. Um, Jenny prison cover. Um, it's it's if you it's twenty five. So I think quite a few of the covers, but I think I like this one because it's like bloody and because it's kind of got a face. You can see the facial expression, which I really liked. Um, it's strange. Like, I knew of the series, but I never picked. I never read the series prior. At some point, I probably picked up the uh, trade paperbacks and <coughs> sort of read them. It's meant, be, it's, meant, it's meant to be a good series. Next two books are, if, it, or if I was displaying these, we'll go next side by side. Because these are both the sketch version and non sketch version of the same cover. But these are the preview editions. I've read something number one from this year. So this is a sketch one. I thought this one's limited to a thousand. So. 
is if I don't some books I own in there you slag um like right, this and the next one and I think the Spider-Man book and the what did I say thank you the World Tree, I think it's probably one or two others, I don't think, but I limit to less than a certain number. I don't try, I don't actually hunt them books. Um, if I'm able to get them and they are less than a certain number, sweet. But, um, the, the other one is the card is one. This one's less than two thousands. Um, but you hear what I didn't point out I'm getting these bags on the books. Um it's more to sort of protect the cases or scratches. Um but do like things like um pack exclusive, store exclusives. If I'm able to get them sweet, the some of the books I do have in a little short box I want to get graded are uh, it's a four issue one I've got done, honey. But it's five covers to the, eat the foot like for one to four of the a virgin cover. But the virgin is exclusive to this pack. And there was a bonus cover of issue one or the exclusive to the pack. Things like that I'd, I'd love to send out because it may not be valuable, but it's nice to sort of have. Well for me it is anyway. Next book is the second book I picked up, grinded. Well expensive, um, and uh, so you will probably press it slightly and clean it a bit, it, a slightly high bump, but it's not putting a wipe it overall. X Men number four, first um, in Metroid. This next book is a book actually is a book you expect me to pick up and, and prior, but I won't. Well, as I sort of saw this issue, I'm like, this cover for me deserves to be um, graded, in my opinion. Well, it's not valuable, I say valuable. I've seen issues go for like double what I got into it. So, in a way, I have to put it that way. But for me, I think I thought it deserved to be graded. My Harley Quinn number 22. This issue came, this issue came out last year. It's one of the, it's one of the books on the tears on the front, like her, her 30th anniversary. So, not too shabby. And the next book is a book that comes within Hargwin. You need a poison ivy, and that is issue number 11. Um, so, but like, yeah, I've showed some of this cover recently. Yeah, like, what's my grade in? Okay. Even, I don't really do grades, but like, I said one book that got graded was that, and he went, it's yeah, something like that don't need to be graded, which is a beautiful job. Um, the book is we have done the newer style of witch stuff. It's um, sort of choosing covers I like. Um, this was one of them, but this one is because it's, it's the one division one. A lot of other of this line, I think that's two hours with nice covers. Not really. At some point, we'll be sent out. But this is this run ended. That last one was run before. But they were carrying it on. Uh, I think it'll be the next month. I don't know, next month. To February. Because they're doing what they sort of done with She Hulk. Because She Hulk had about 10 shoes. And they reboot it like the end of it, then you hold it on into the central shelf. 
With that, there's a window that you turn and turn it on with her and Twixilver. So straight away, next year, I'll see you sort of coffee. What is she like? <coughs> so, this next book is... <coughs> I technically actually never looked inside this physical copy. I have seen inside the book before, like YouTube videos and that. But this one, pretty much, I think I picked up, I bought from New Dawn. And in like a week or two, like, I think within the week, it was basically going back to New Dawn with grading. Um, because obviously, if you, if you know me, you know, obviously, but like from previous books I've shown, you I think, one other book, I want to say, two other books, you know I'm like, much another character. That is She-Hulk number one, or She-Hulk. Well, it's Dodge number one. I'll be able to show book to show, but um, you can have prize variants, so this one's a little bit it, it's strange because <clears throat> UK prize variants are technically rarer but less desirable. It's very strange, but yeah, I wanted to do that because I love them next on you. Um, next, um, see, next one is. So that's talking about new transplants. Uh, this one is a book that has basically shocked me and gave it new dawn <coughs> by the grade. Because it's the only UK prize variant of this grade. Spider-Woman 9 Spider-Woman 33 and 9.8. Um First appearance of the century and there's a UK prize variant. It's the only UK prize being at that grade. I'm saying that. It was not a bit glossy a couple of weeks ago. So, but it's... Um... It's strange so they don't... I've done, I've done that. And there's like, I think it's... A film coming out, it's kind of related... Spider-Man related book. Or um, a bird on film. I've been told, oh, I've been doing the wrong information. Very wrong information. But <clears throat> and the reason I've been out is for this book and this book is it's technically not a key issue in the sense that it's a first appearance or whatever. It's just a if you watch enough CGC videos or videos of resellers who do CGC stuff. Either they'll have this book because they know it will sell, or you see a, a, a store where a comic or that will have this book because it's such a it's a key issue in the sense that or how quickly or how popular it is to buy and sell because it's noteworthy because of the cover and the first few pages. It's She Hulk basically skipping naked. And that's she, that is sensational she hulk forty. And it's what people depending on who you ask, people will mention the first few panels or first pages were skipping native. A few people will, will, will mention the cover because she's basically naked, but using the comics cover authority logo to cover herself up. It's it depends on who you ask. So Final two books, I do technically have a book at New Dawn to pick up. Um, so, but depending on, depending on when I pick it up, might be showing this sort of Christmas, if not worst case, in the new year. But next two are, I'll put the red sign on here, I don't know. Uh, these are um, Rachel Holland, Photo tower version ones. It was strange when I when I picked up these when I was buying this run. It was like four or five issue run. I initially I forgot I picked these books up until I started choosing books of grades. So I thought fuck it. Oh, there's all bit I still technically read three and four because I have the trade dress versions of these. And that's where Red Sonny Hell Sonny number three. Some point in, in <coughs> some point in the new year, <coughs> if you watched my last video, you, you would know this. <coughs> um, 
I can watch it once I mention what's out of the channel for final book. Um <coughs> I have spoken to Rachel um about and she has sort of pretty much said like I if you follow her social media you'll know she's always at a, a, some form of convention. She's pretty much said to me like in the new year when you sort of things out we sort of like I'll, Basically, let her, we'll let her know when I'm ready to have her on. And we'll sort of make plans, sort of have her on. Um, my interaction with her have been fan on social media has been fantastic. And it'll be nice to have her on the channel. But yeah, they, that is literally all my... <coughs> that's all my CGC for this year. Um, hope, I, again, I'm surprised that... I didn't weren't literally expecting to get as many graded or buy or bought as many. Um but yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um and yeah, hope don't speak two days before between now and Christmas. Have a fantastic Christmas and yeah. Ciao for now guys. Pleasure. We'll learn as you